Hey, this is Driving with the Miles. I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. Who needs this? If you're new to the United States, if you're getting ready to take your DMV test or road test, if you have less than 10 years of experience. So I've had some requests. So I'm going to do an in car video on driving on expressway and making lane changes. So I'm in the middle lane right now, which is the smooth lane. This is in car uh, video this time. So there's a car in my blind spot to my left because and right, you see me looking over my shoulders. So I'm gonna maintain good speed. Uh, the speed limit here is 70, so I'm right at the speed limit and I'm taking my time. I'm gonna go ahead and make a lane change to the left. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot, I look over my shoulder. Once I'm in the lane, I cancel my blinker. Your DMV tester, road tester will look for you to have great blind spot checks. Um, you don't need a lot of rapid uh, hand movements when you turn the wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and get over one lane to the right uh, because there's a guy behind me tailgating me really hard. So I look over my right shoulder, I gradually turn the wheel, I'm in the lane, and then I cancel my blinker. So you always wanna have good speed control and good spacing. As you can tell, I have both of my hands on the wheel. I have really large hands and long arms, so I'm not trying to crowd the wheel. Uh, you don't want to put your hands at the bottom of the wheel because you'll jerk it, and you don't want to put your hands at the top of the wheel. You want to have both hands on the wheel. You will get marked down if you drive with one hand. I'm maintaining a, safe, a space cushion. You see me always looking around, checking my mirrors and blind spots. You want to demonstrate that to the road tester, and actually, I've lifted my foot a little bit to keep my space because I don't want to tailgate cars and trucks. That is, the, that is another common source of losing points. You always want to be a defensive driver. So I maintain a good speed control. You saw me check my mirror. I'm always looking. You want to check your mirrors every 12 to 15 seconds. So I'm barely turning the wheel. I'm always looking around. Literally, you're here driving with me. So I'm just taking my time, keeping my space and I'm being smooth. A lot of beginning drivers will hug the left lane or right lane because it's uh, because of centrifugal force. Try to say that real fast three times. So I'm maintaining a good speed control. A car is tailgating me. Uh, there was an article in the news that said because of the pandemic, people are driving more aggressive and I definitely do believe it because I'm right at 70 and people are right on me driving very, very fast. So I'm maintaining good distance. I have good speed control. I'm going to make a lane change to the right and show you some things about eye movement. I look over my right shoulder. I'm in the right lane. But now I have cars that are merging out in front of me. So you're going to see me kind of judge the distance and I'm lifting my foot a little bit. I'm letting this car merge out. And you always have to control your car with your gas pedal or brake pedal. Your gas pedal, you can knock off a couple of miles an hour if you lift your foot. You always see me looking and checking. Uh, the car ahead of me is back up to freeway speed, so I'm nice and smooth now. Uh, there's a white van that is in my blind spot, so I have to look over my shoulder to see it. So you are really learning about blind spot checks. I'm maintaining good speed control. They're from Tennessee. So I'm maintaining good speed, good space. I'm nice and smooth. I'm taking my time. You can tell that I'm just making small steering adjustments. A lot of beginning drivers will overturn, and I'm going to show you what's going to happen. You're going to hear a sound. Oh my God, that is so scary. I just went off the road. I overturned the wheel. A lot of beginning drivers will overturn the wheel. Also on curves, if you turn the wheel too hard or fast and have too much speed, centrifugal will pull you to the outside edge. So I'm nice and smooth. You can kind of see that I'm looking ahead. Um, I'm taking my time. I'm scanning. I'm being patient. You have to be patient with yourself. Your DMV tester or road tester will look for you to have those blind spot checks. You always have to check your mirror every uh, 12 to 15 seconds. Uh, I have good space in front of me. I'm taking my time. A good drive is a smooth drive. So I'm maintaining good speed. Uh, I have an open gap to the left, so I'm gonna make a lane change. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot. I gently get over, you see me checking. And then I'm in my lane, nice and smooth. A lot of beginning drivers will actually slow down in their lane changes. You will get marked down. Or if you make lane changes in the middle of intersections. Oh, by the way, before I forget, I will be going live today at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to Driving With Miles. Let's go ahead and finish this. So I'm in the middle lane. I'm nice and smooth. You see my eye movements. I'm looking left. I'm looking right. I'm scanning always aware and the best advice I can tell you for beginning drivers and this is someone 
under 10 years of experience, keep space, scan, look around. So I'm nice and smooth right now. I'm not on top of cars. I see two gravel trucks ahead of me. So one is in the right lane, one is in the middle lane. So that's definitely a view blocker. A view blocker is a large vehicle. Also, you can't see it, but there's a pack of cars, about 14 cars ahead of me. So I'm behind the pack. I'm gonna make a lane change to the left. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot. And then I gently get into the lane. And then I cancel my blinker so I'm nice and smooth there. I'm just taking my time, going with the flow, being legal, not speeding, always looking. You see my eyes scanning all the time, checking mirrors. And this is a learned behavior. If your DMV tester, road tester marks you down, it's because your driving instructor did not really emphasize this. I want to continue to get better and emphasize those fundamentals for my students because I want to continue to push myself. So I have a, a solid yellow line to the left. This is a warning line to the left. And then we have broken white lines. So I'm maintaining speed control. There's a gravel truck in the middle lane. I'm in the left lane, which is okay right now. Normally it's the passing lane. So I'm gonna take my time. I'm always looking and scanning. You feel safe when you look around and scan because cars are constantly coming in and out of your blind spots. Um, I'm gonna hang around this gravel truck for a minute. Don't hang around trucks. You can hear the pebbles of gravel coming off of the truck. And you can hear the gravel truck. So I'm maintaining speed. And I can feel the car being pushed also because that large vehicle has a lot of turbulence that will push the vehicle. So I'm maintaining good speed. I'm gonna check my mirror. You see me looking. Mirror return signal blind spot. I get over. That's a smooth lane change. It's really wonderful to drive smooth, to drive safe. I'm wanting to bring you value. And if I bring you value, give me a thumbs up. So I'm maintaining good speed control. Uh, a good drive is smooth, is confident. And your DMV tester, road tester will look for that. There's an area on the examination for timid or aggressive. If you're timid, a timid driver is very hesitant. An aggressive driver cuts cars off. You want to be balanced. You want to be a defensive driver, but be in the middle. I will be posting another vehicle. I did a downtown defensive drive video inside view, so that'll be uploaded also. So I have good speed control, but also in a moment, we'll be heading back toward a regular thoroughfare. So the speed limit here is 70. I'm maintaining about 68 to 69 miles an hour. I'm nice and smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and make a lane change to the right, check my mirror, turn signal blind spot. I look, I check, I'm gradually in the lane, nice and smooth, nice and easy. I'm looking, I'm checking, always be aware of what's going on, always see, and I'm nice and smooth. So you have to take your time. So I'm gonna make a lane change to the left mirror, turn signal blind spot. You have to get practice. Your DMV tester, road tester, will have you make multiple lane changes. The freeway ends in a half mile. So you have to start reducing your speed, lifting your foot off of that gas, coming back down to the regular speed, which could be 50 miles an hour, it could be 55, it could be 45. You also have some warning signs ahead, so you need to be able to read these signs, and in your mind, you need to think. So my foot's off the gas, I'm gradually dropping my speed back down, I'm nice and smooth, I'm taking my time. So now I'm taking my time, I'm nice and smooth, my foot's on the brake, and I'm going in real easy and you want to be able to see the rear of the tires on the ground. If you can't see the rear of the tires on the ground, then you will be marked down. If we get rear-ended, you will have the first collision hitting someone in front, and then you have the second collision hitting someone in the back. Uh, the car to the left was a manual. They rolled back. That's another teachable moment. You will be marked down if you roll backwards if you have a manual. More on that later, I will be doing uh, a manual, driving a manual, I have some requests on that. So I do know how to drive a manual too. I'm keeping my space, I'm taking my time. And you kind of see me judging distance. You can see by the expressions on my face. I'm looking around checking because now I'm back in a regular road with more traffic, more potential uh, areas to uh, get stuck in traffic and more potential accidents. So I'm scanning, I'm looking, always checking my mirrors, that good eye movement. Uh, just maintaining. So if you find this a value, which I hope you do, please do the thumbs up. Please like, please share. I love you and appreciate you. 
This is Driving with Miles. Thank you for everything that you do.